Mabuhay or in Kapampangan, Luit Kayo. Today's question comes from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Jennifer asks, who were the first Filipinos in America? This is actually a great question. I mean, living here in the US as people of color, we are often subjected to this idea that this country belonged to white people. That we as immigrants or descendants of immigrants just don't belong. That we have to try our best to fit in, to fit their standards and their definitions of what it is to be American. But guess what? Filipinos Filipinos have been in the United States for a very long time. Today, when we say Filipinos, we mean people from the Philippines or with roots in the Philippines. But just keep in mind that the term Filipino hasn't always been this inclusive identity that includes all the people in the Philippines. We as people have only started using this term Filipino as an identity in the late 1800s. Now going back to Jennifer's question, if you think about people who may identify themselves as Filipinos. The first Filipinos in the United States were the pensionados. They were a group of young men, young scholars who were brought in by the American government to study in the universities of the United States. And this happened during the beginnings of the American occupation of the Philippines following the bloody Philippine-American War. The first wave of pensionados came to the US in 1903 and they were quickly followed by the Manong generation. The Manongs first arrived in the United States in 1906 as agriculture cultural workers in what are now the states of Hawaii, California, and Washington. And they were the forefathers of our Filipino-American community today. But if you talk about people from the Philippines who did not necessarily identify as Filipinos, but have roots in what is now the country of the Philippines, then we are talking about a much deeper history in America. For example, we have the Manila Men of New Orleans, and they made Louisiana their home as early as the 17th 60s. These Manila men also helped the United States fight against the British invasion during the Battle of New Orleans in the War of 1812. But they're not even the first people from the Philippines to make America their home. The first people from Las Islas Filipinas to ever been recorded to set foot in what would become the United States would be the Luzones Indios or the natives of Luzon who landed in Morro Bay back in October 18, 1587. They were native sailors from the Philippines who sailed with Pedro de Unamuno in a Spanish expedition to explore and discover the northern coast of what is now California. And many of these Luzones Indios from La Pampanga or what is now Central Luzon Philippines also helped the Franciscan friars in founding and establishing many of the earliest towns in what is now California. So yes, our people have been here in what is now the US of A long before the first 13 colonies were even founded and almost 200 years before the US Declaration of Independence was signed. But if you think about the term America, it has never been exclusive to the United States. America actually refers to the entire continents of both North and South America, not just the US. So the first people from what is now the Philippines to ever live in the Americas would technically be the Kapampangan Datus who were exiled to Acapulco in what is now Mexico. It was also in 1587 when a conspiracy took place in the city of Manila to overthrow the Spanish colonizers. But this conspiracy failed and so the Kapampangan Datus, namely Dionisio Capulong of Candaba, Pedro Balingit of Pandacan, Pitongatan of Tondo, and others were all exiled to Mexico and they first landed in Baja California, becoming the first people from what is now the Philippines to settle in the Americas. And this would mark the beginning of three centuries, 300 years of cultural exchange and deep connections between the diverse people of what are now the countries of Mexico and the Philippines. And then again, if you really think about it, there have been recent studies and evidences that hint to the pre-colonial relationship and connections and contact between the indigenous people of the Americas and our indigenous Austronesian ancestors long before Europeans learned how to sail outside their little continent. So yes, there's so much more that we can learn that we need to learn and unlearn but that is it for me today and always remember no history no self no history no self see you next time or in tagalog kita kits and in kabampangan mikitix